Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can create custom eyes and teeth for your character creator character to replace the default ones. When a custom stylized model is converted to a CC3 Plus character via Headshot 2.0, the eyes and teeth of that character will be replaced by the default CC3 Plus ones. In this example, we're going to export this custom CC3 Plus troll character to Blender and replace both eyes and teeth. In this video, we're going to use the CC4 Blender Pipeline Tool plugin to export our CC3 Plus character to FBX format. You can find the download link in the video description and the installation guide video on our Reillusion Courses page. For now, I'll just use the default export settings with mesh only, and we want to ensure that the facial expression profile is exported as well. In Blender, you can use the N hotkey to bring up the Auto Setup plugin window and import the FBX character model from there. Let's first take a look at how to replace the eyes. In the outliner, you can see the CC base eye and CC base teeth meshes that we need to replace. I'll start by importing an FBX I've already prepared that contains the custom eyes and teeth meshes. From there, I can use the orthographic views and move the eye mesh into the correct position. Using wireframe mode and hiding the body mesh makes it easier to get the positioning right. Once the position is set, we need to reset the origin and initial coordinates. Make sure the eye mesh is selected, then right click and set the origin to the 3D cursor, which currently sits at the character base. In the transform section, the values are not yet zeroed out, so let's press Ctrl A and select all transforms to deltas, which will set all of the transform values to zero and scale to one. Next, I want to parent the custom eye to the troll mesh. To do this, I'll select the eye mesh and troll skeleton, then use the Ctrl P hotkey and choose with empty groups, which will set the custom eye mesh under the troll group. The next step is to bind the weights to the skeleton. So let's start by hiding some of the extraneous meshes and only showing the eye mesh. I'll then select the troll skeleton and in object data properties, set the view to display the skeleton, clicking on the in front and names options. From there, I'll select both the skeleton and eye mesh and go to weight paint mode. Here I want to hide the body mesh and start by holding control and then left clicking on the CC base left eye bone to select it. The weight value for the entire left eyeball mesh should be set to one as we don't need any mesh deformation here, just complete control via the left eye bone. I can then repeat the same process for the CC base right eye bone Again, ensuring that the whole thing is evenly weighted at the maximum value. I'll then return to object mode and select the skeleton, then change to pose mode and rotate the bones using the R hotkey to check the result. Everything looks good for both eyes, so the last thing we need to do now is delete the original CC base eye mesh and rename our newly created one to the same name. That's it for the eyes, now let's move on to the teeth. As with the eyes, we want to start by positioning the custom teeth to the appropriate place in the character's mouth. Ensure the teeth are selected and continue to right click and set the origin to the 3D cursor and once again hit Ctrl A and set all transforms to delta to reset the coordinates. Finally, parent the custom teeth to the troll skeleton once again. Painting the weights is a bit tricky for the teeth due to their more complex overlapping mesh. As you can see, if we go into weight mode and hide all of the other parts, the teeth overlap. Let's go into edit mode then and use the L hotkey to select the upper mesh and H to hide it. 
I'll do the same for the other individual original bottom teeth as well. After that's done, we can return to Weight Draw Mode, hold down Control, and then right click to select the CC Base Teeth 02 bone, and continue to paint the entire mesh to a weight value of 1. After that, I can return to edit mode and use the Alt H to display the hidden mesh for the upper teeth. And proceed to hide the lower teeth using the same process we used before. Simply repeat the weight painting process by going into weight mode, being sure to select CC Base Teeth 01 this time, and paint it all to the max value of 1. Once again, let's head into edit mode to display all of the hidden meshes, and then proceed to head to object mode, select the skeleton, and then go into pose mode to test out the weighting results. You may want to further refine the position of the new teeth, so to do so, return to object mode and move them using the G hotkey. As with the eyes, we want to rename our custom teeth as CC Base Teeth and delete the original mesh. I'll also go back and rename the materials for the teeth and eyes consistently so CC can detect them more easily. Okay, so we're done replacing the eyes and teeth. The only thing left to do is export the updated model to CC4. With the troll selected, I can click on the Export to CC4 button in the plugin window. Then in the plugin menu in CC4, simply select Import Character from Blender. You can just use the default settings shown here. Very important is the next Create Asset window. We need to import the FBX key that was created when we exported from Blender. The FBX key is used to ensure the integrity of the CC3 Plus character data, and it will be generated whether we export from Character Creator or Blender when using Auto Setup. In the Asset Import Status Report window, you'll see that the eyes and teeth are recognized as not compatible since they are completely custom. As long as you've tested the weighting and positioning in Blender, you won't have a problem here though. Once that's complete, you can use the Edit Facial tool to test out the eye and teeth rotation and movement results. You can see that the weighting is just fine. The body motions work just fine as well, so we're good to go. That's it for this tutorial, guys. We encourage you to get creative with your own custom character features. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.